वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मोंगो डीबी मोंगो डीबी डेटा टाइप्स इन मोंगो डीबी द डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इन बी सेन फॉर्मेट बी एस ओ एन फॉर्मेट विच इज नथिंग बट द जेस इन फॉर्मेट इन द बाइनरी फॉर्मेट इन द जेस इन फॉर्मेट बी सेन स्टैंड फॉर binary encoded format of json using bsun we can make procedure calls in mongodb each data type has an alias as well as a number which can be used for finding or searching the records in mongodb so these are called the numbers and these are called the aliases the find method is used to select the document in the collection this is similar to the select in the sql we will use find method to select the documents querying by data type is useful when dealing with highly unstructured data where data types are not predictable each mongo db corresponds a unique number which is used to identify them using the type method we'll be seeing what is this type method so let us check out what are the data types that are available in mongo db so the first data type is the integer data type so the number which has been assigned to this particular integer data type is 16 this is for a 32 bit integer and the now alias that can be that has been given is int int the next data type is a integer as well but this time it is for the 64 bits the number assigned to this particular data type integer data type is 18 and the alias for this data type is long The next data type is the most common data type which is string. The assigned number for this string data type is 2 and the alias name given is string. The next data type is double so which is nothing but a floating point number. So the number assigned to this data type is 1 whereas the al- the alias name has been given as double the next data type is an object data type where there could be an embedded number of uh, documents that can be assigned as a object or variable so the assigned name assigned value number is 3 for this data type and then the alias name is object the next data type is array the assigned number for this data type is 4 and the uh, alias name is array then we have the binary data type the assigned number for this data type is 5 the alias name assigned to this data type is bin data the next data type is undefined data type the assigned number for this data type is 6 and then the alias name assigned to this data type is undefined but this data type has been deprecated and then the probably in the next versions this might be completely removed so using this should be uh done uncautioned the next data type is the object id data type and the number assigned to this data type is 7 and the alias name assigned is object id so you can see uh, you should have already known that object for each document there should be a default uh, data which is an object id or as a prime which might act as a primary key as well the next data type is a boolean data type and then the assigned number for this data type is 8 and then the alias name assigned is bool 
The next data type is the null data type. Assigned number is 10. The alias name given is null. Next, we have the date data type. The assigned number is 9. And then the alias name given for this data type is date. Then we have the regular expression data type. The assigned number for this data type is 11. The alliance name given for this data type is regex. The next data type is db pointer. The assigned number is 12. The alliance name given is db pointer. Again, this particular data type has been tape recorded. So in the next versions, probably this might be completely removed. The next data type is a JavaScript data type. The assigned number is 13. And then the alias name given is JavaScript. The next data type is a symbol data type. The assigned name, assigned number is given as 14. The alias name given is symbol. Again, this particular data type has been deprecated. So, we should avoid using this particular data type. Next, we have a JavaScript with scope data type, which has been assigned the number with 15. And the alliance name is JavaScript with scope. Then we have timestamp data type. The number assigned to this data type is 17. And then the alliance name given for this data type is timestamp. Then we have something called as minimum key, which is assigned with a value minus one, and then the alias name given as min key. The next data type is max key with a value or the number assigned is 127, and then the alias name is given as max key. The last data type is decimal 128 which is assigned with the number 19. The alias name given as decimal. This has been introduced since the MongoDB 3.4 version. Now we will see each data type with an example how to assign or create the data type with the values. The string data type which is commonly used data type. This should be of valid UTF-8 format. So this is how you assign a string. So where string, so this is a string, so which is very simple. Then we have an integer type data type. So this stores numeric data and it can be either of 32 bit or 64 bit. So 32 bit is called as int whereas a 64-bit is called as a long integer based on the operating systems that we use. So to assign a integer type data type, this is how the initialization can be done. Then we have a Boolean type data type. As we know, it stores the Boolean data either true or false. So where bool equal to true or it could be a false. So this can be a variable name, which can be anything. The next data type is a double data type. So this stores a floating type data. So floating type data is we have an integer with the decimal points. So that is the floating type data. So you can declare and assign the double data type like this. The next we have a null data type, which is used to store null values. So this might be used in some cases. So depending on the user's requirements, so this can be declared and used accordingly. The next data type is an object data type. So it is used for embedded documents. For example, we have a data type, we have a variable with objects or it can be a separate object. So this particular variable can be inserted in a document or inserted in a database which could be a doc, which could be an object type as well. The next is the object ID data type. This 
stores the unique key ID for documents. We have already seen in the previous chapter that for every document or every database or every table that we uh, use in the MongoDB, we'll have the object ID and then that will be the acting as a primary key for the whole document. So to declare it, so we have a where object ID equal to object ID method. The next data type we have is arrays. So this stores lists or multiple values in a single key. So we have where, so you be declared the array using the square braces. So we have multiple values in it. The next data type is a date data type. So this stores current date and time in Unix format or Unix format. It allows you to create a date object with its own date and time for, like for format like MMDD, YYYY. So we have three ways where we can uh, declare or use the date. So the first option is where date using the new date function method. So this is a date object. It uses in internally, it uses the ISO date wrapper method. The next way is where date ISO date method. So this is also a date object. It uses the default ISO date wrapper. And finally, we have the regular date, which is nothing but bad date using the date method. So this uh, stores a uh, current date as string. The next data type we have is the timestamped data type. So this is a 64-bit timestamp and 32-bit timestamps seconds since the Unix Epo. So Unix Epo when it is started, so from then it will calculate the number of seconds till now. Then the 32 bits incre are incremented value for an operation. So the first uh, we have said it is a 64-bit timestamp. The first 32 bits calculates the seconds. The second 32 bits calculate the incremented value for an operation. So you will declare the timestamp variable like this. The next we have the binary data. This stores the binary data of any particular value. So where bin data, we will use the bin data method for creating a binary value. The next data type is a regular expression data type where this stores the regular expressions. So we'll use the regex exp, uh, method to create a regular expression variable. So where regex equal to new rg uh, regex bracket and then inside that whatever value that you wanted to search. The next method is a JavaScript method so, or the JavaScript data type, it stores the JavaScript data without any scope. It just stores the, the JavaScript uh, equation. So where, so function, a variable, function where x and x equal to five, a simple JavaScript equation, which can be stored, which doesn't have any scope or it doesn't return anything. Then we have the JavaScript with scope data type. So this stores a JavaScript with the scope option. The same variable, we can use it as an example. This equation has a particular scope. So which is of an object or which can be returned certain values depending on your requirements. So the, we have mentioned that every data type in MongoDB as an allies as well as a number. So this is a typical example of how you use the uh, use or search a particular data type using their allies or the number. For example, we have inserted uh, a few data, three rows of data like this. So we have a student's database where we inserted the name as Dinesh, age as integer 30. The next record, the name as Pradeep, the age in string type of 20. The third record, 
we have inserted name mongodb age equal to integer of 25 so when we use this function db dot students dot find it will retrieve all the three records when we use this particular method or option db dot students dot find we are going to find what the age variable or the age field with the type we have mentioned that we can use the type method to identify which particular uh, field that we wanted to search and we are using the alias name so this will retrieve only the age uh, field which is of integer type so it will retrieve only the first record and the third record so similarly when we use this particular option where it says db.students.find we are again using the age field and this type for the type we are using the integer of 32 bits when we said 32 bits it is the number that is assigned for the integer type data type which is 16 if we want to search a 64-bit uh, integer then we will be using the number 18 so this will again retrieve only the first record and the second record so if we have to search for this particular string type then instead of using the int we will be using string as the option so this is how you search a particular field using the data types and using by using the type method